Hello there guys, and I am here now to tell you how I did that anti-spyware review, uh, well not review, just you know, showing you what's like, sort of thing. And it is a bad program, so don't download it. So this is what I used to, um, to safely review it, even though I could have just installed it on the system, because it's very, very crap. Sandboxing. This program is brilliant. I absolutely love it. And um, see, basically, what it does is it runs your programs in this thing called a sandbox. And let me just show you what I mean by taking you to their site. I open up Firefox a second. Let me go to sandboxy.com. So here it is, tired of dealing with rogue software, spyware and malware, spent many, too many hours removing unsolicited software, worried about clicking unfamiliar web clicks. Sandboxy runs your programs in an isolated space which prevents them from making permanent changes to other programs on data in your computer. And you know, you can read all of this on their site, I will post a uh, link in the description for this. Now, it gives you a simple, a very simple um, diagram. So, basically, when you download or use a program that could possibly get malware on your system, um, it goes into this little space on your hard drive called a sandbox and everything is all contained in there and it has no access to the data that is you know ever so important to you and ever so critical because you know when a virus gets into your computer it could send off any file that it wants to okay and and you know it's obviously being controlled by another person and this is only be, it's just like containing the viruses on a empty space in your hard drive and then you know once you've done with everything that you've been using in the sandbox and if you don't want it anymore you just get rid of it and it goes away and that's it it's gone so the idea with this is it's not an antivirus but the idea is is you do get infected but you know you'll be alright and it sandboxes your default web browser if, if I show you what I mean I've uh, I've got a shortcut here in security and I've got sandbox web browser and what it does is it it launches your actual web, uh, web browser your default web browser in a sandbox and here it is firefox.exe it's in sandbox. Anything that is downloaded now is just going to be sandbox instantly. So, I am going to download just a legitimate program. Now, I did the same thing for uh, that rogue on the last video, okay? This is no different to what I did, you know, on the last video. I just downloaded something legitimate. So, let's say C Cleaner. And um, download the latest version. Save the file. If I just wait for this a little second, I wonder if it will do it. And Yep, there we go. Okay. Now, before I move on to that, I would like to say, do you see the little hashes in the window up here? That means that this program is running Sandbox, and you'll be quite safe to do whatever you want in it. It cannot touch your system. Now, here we have to recover, because if I go to my desktop, it's... Uh, you know, it's not here. 
So I, I'm going to have to recover to the same folder in order to, you know, just get access to the file. Now, one thing that does annoy me is, uh, you know, because because I've had to do that, and you know, just just in order to make it visible, I can't run it sandbox by default. I'm, I'm actually going to have to cancel that. Right click on it and click Run Sandbox. Now, obviously, this is just a legitimate program I am just merely giving you a demonstration here okay now the thing with this is is that you you can actually run programs in the sandbox like I was doing with that road they can actually function but they don't have any access to anything unless if you give it the allowance now if you're a novice user I would say this you go I will. I, I actually want you to do this. I want you to go to sandbox default box. Go to sandbox settings, okay? And this is just what one very vital option you want to go to. De uh, to delete, delete invocation, and select this. Automatically delete contents of sandbox. Because that means that if sandboxy or a bad program should crash it will be automatically deleted so that's a a good safety measure that you want to have okay now this is free but uh, the free version has nags and stuff I'm using a 30 day trial but when it ends I'm gonna have a nag screen and stuff so you can buy the program if you want to I, I would buy it but I haven't got the money or you know would rather save the money when you check for updates, it'll update to a newer version of Sandboxing and paid uh, users, you will get lifetime updates if you pay for a lifetime license. So now I'm going to just shut up and show you what I did. So let's say that this is the installer to that rogue anti-spyware program. All you need to do, and it's ever so simple, it, you know, it's really, really simple, right click on it and click run sandbox it's right there there's a yellow sandbox with red dots on the neck on the, on it next to it you choose your sandbox now you can choose run outside sandbox but you want to run this sandbox so you click on default box and click ok so i'm just waiting for the install to come up here Right, so here's the Opera installer. Now again, this is a legitimate program, so you know the the thing is is that um, you know this is safe to download anyway. You can install this if you like. You don't need to sandbox it, or if you want to, if you're not too sure about it and you want to be able to get rid of it very easy and very quickly, you can just simply. Um, what am I going to say now? You can just uh, simply test it and easily get rid of it. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little tired of things. Anyway, uh, yep. Yeah, so all you need to do in order to if in order to test software, you download the installer as normal and you just run it inside of Sandbox as I show you. As I showed you, so I'm going to install this. And where is it installing right now? It's installing into the, into the sandbox. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, you know, um, you know, this, this is it. I mean, I've I've got all of this running and I don't need to worry if this was a bad program I don't need to worry because it's inside the sandbox and I can very easily get rid of this in a couple of seconds as I'll show you 
and we can use this, okay? We can go to uh, nanite.com. We can go to gmail.com. We can go to download.com. See? I can easily, uh, you know, use this and you know it's not on my system really in a way it's on my system but it's not but I can use it and if I want to I can recover this and let this be actually installed so now so what I could do is basically if I close that I could either close this for real and then the program would, would be gone, the sandbox was empty and this program will be gone from my system. Or you can right click the, the sandbox scene icon. Probably novice users are going to be more confident in doing it this way by right clicking on that, going to default box and going to delete contents. Then what you want to do is you want to go down here and click this big button, delete contents. As you saw, Opera just terminated and now it's not on our system. Okay, if I wave over that icon, it's gone. If I go to computer, I go to my program files, I scroll down to where O would be. Uh, up here, Tom. It's not there. It's never ever been installed on the system. Okay, and that is exactly what I did with anti spyware. I just merely downloaded the installer, ran it in the sandbox, and that was it. Okay, and then all I had to do to disinfect my system was merely empty a sandbox, and it was gone. Now, I'll just move on to. Um, I'm just going to move on to uh, how much it costs because I know that'll probably be your next question. I wanted to go to sandboxing.com. Oopsie. If I go to buy, so what we've got is this: is lifetime license for use at home. You can have a one-time payment of 29 euros in my case pounds to get commercial use or you can have a one year license for use at home buy now now honestly if I was going to buy it I would just get the lifetime license which obviously you just you would do that so yeah I, I probably will just continue using the free version there And uh, you know why? Uh, well, if, if I click buy now, I just want to find out how much it costs for my country. Okay, uh, let's remove that. Okay, bad news if you like if you live in the United Kingdom. It costs thirty-two pounds fourteen pence, but it's 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 you know it's really is worth it. I, I'm not gonna buy it myself, but you know that is really really good. I mean, if that is like for a lifetime, you know, I, I really would do that if you wanted to buy this product. You know, it's really cool. So I think that's about it for this video, and that is about it for tonight's videos. So thanks for watching this video. Please do comment, rate, and subscribe if you like watching my videos. I hope you you know you've found this interesting. I know I have. And um, yeah, have a good night, everyone. Bye bye now.